Hi guys, welcome to Cameron's Corner. Today I'm going to show you part two of my Alice in Wonderland haul videos. Um, this is still stuff that I bought in Oxford. Um, I'm going to show you some items from Alice's shop and some other shops in Oxford. And we started off at Waterstones. <laughs> oh boy, they had so many books over there. Of course they did, it's a bookstore. But so many Alice books, it was amazing. So uh, I bought this book. Yuri said to me, this is one of the best biographies I read about uh, Lewis Carroll and Alice. He said, you should really read this, but it is quite a brick. <laughs> but I trust his judgment because he read lots of biographies and he really is an Alice in Wonderland expert. You are, Yuri. <laughs> and uh, I really, really would love to read it. But at the moment, I can't read that much. I think my brain is a bit too full with other things. So if I read after about a chapter, my mind just wanders off. Even if I read Alice, if I really love the book. So I'm still reading Through the Looking Glass. So this one will have to wait for a while. But I can't wait to read it. Although it has to wait for me to read it. <laughs> Another book I bought is this one. Oh, look at Cheshire's eyes. I love that. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> okay, uh, I did buy another book illustrated by Yudia Sarda, or however you pronounce that. Um, you did actually see that in our video, if you watched it, in Oxford and uh, my matching items haul. Because Yuri saw that book and he bought it and uh, wanted to buy it. And then I said, oh, I want one too. But there was just one. But he already has it now, because he lives in the UK. It's very easy to order. Anyway babbling so i this is uh, i bought two books of this illustrator because i really love these illustrations they're just so quirky and a bit creepy and i think they're a bit like 70s 80s illustrations i'm not really sure i'm, I'm not very i don't know stuff like that but I, it reminds me of uh when i was a young girl <laughs> uh, we had lots of illustrations like this so yeah and i do like the fact that ooh, these are so fun and quirky but also a bit creepy and i do love the fact that there are so many alice illustrations i mean this illustrator really has a really fun creepy way of drawing alice and look at the queen i mean that's just weird <laughs> and um i absolutely love the original john Tenniel illustrations but i do like the fact that people have taken the story and have a different interpretation of Alice. I mean, Alice over here looks a bit more like the original, the the original, well, like the real Alice Little. I mean, she had short brown hair like this. So um, I don't know if it was brown or black, but anyway, short cut hair like this. And uh, so this looks a bit more like the real Alice. So John Tenniel gave her long hair and it's a totally different girl than the real Alice. But in this book, you know, the illustrator thought, let's make it a bit more like Alice Little. And then you have, there are so many illustrations, millions of them, I think. <laughs> and I already have about 50 books with different illustrations, so I'm getting there. I really love buying books, uh, find, uh, finding them online and in, in thrift stores and everywhere that have different illustrations than the original John Tenniel ones or Disney. I mean, I love Disney. I love finding Disney books as well, but I love it when people just just you know take the the story and just make totally different illustrations look at the dormouse so this is a really awesome book and i really want to read one of these books with original story and then different illustrations but <laughs> look at that march hair <laughs> but i don't think it's going to be this one i really want to read one with a manga uh illustrations next to it i love that so oh well lots to collect guys oh he's very cute. So I bought this book and I absolutely love it. I can talk about this book and illustrations and so for hours, but it's going to be a very long video. So these are the books I bought at Waterstones. And I did buy some more books. I bought these books. Look at them. Amazing, right? Actually, they're not real books. They're erasers. <laughs> and I absolutely love these. Now, I bought two red ones. Uh, and these I actually already have. I have a red one in my collection. It was an item I bought the first time I visited the Alice's shop three or four years ago. And um, But these I bought as souvenirs for some friends of mine. And then I thought, do I really need the pink one, the purple one and the blue one? No, I don't really. But I think it'll be really fun to put these in my collection as little Alice books. And they were all only 49p, so it was very cheap. And uh, really nice 
souvenirs, but I just thought it would be fun to have these with the rest of my books. <laughs> and of course, as a souvenir. Okay, what shall I show you? Another item I bought at Alice's shop. I showed you already a few of these. Look how cute this is. I have two uh, different ones by the same illustrator, but I don't know who the illustrator is because it doesn't say anywhere. And I just think this is so cute. There are so many more of these, but I only bought three. <laughs> Look at Alice. She's so cute in her purple pinkish dress and with her cute blonde hair that's really short and look at Cheshire sitting here being a really nice sweet little kitten. I just think this is, these are just wonderful uh, illustrations. Yeah I think they're from Japan. I'm not really sure uh, but they have lots of illustrations like this. So if you know who drew this, who made these illustrations, I would love to know. But I just love, I also love stationery and stuff so I couldn't resist this. <laughs> Another item I also love to collect are Alice in Wonderland playing cards. I think this is my fifth playing card deck that I have. If I can open it. Look at that. So in here, you also have Jane Austen playing cards. Um, <laughs> we're all mad here. These are all, uh, each card has a different illustration on it, I think. Let's just check that. So it was, yes, it is. Yeah, this is the Ace of Clubs and this is the Ace of Hearts. Totally different. So they all have different illustrations and they all have different quotes. This is the quote deck. Does it say over here? 54 quotes and illustrations from Lewis Carroll and Sir John Tenniel. So these are lots of drawings from the original books and I absolutely love this. And it does have a quote with every single uh, drawing. So I really like that. Ah oh boy, Tweedledee said Tweedledee. Tweedledum said Tweedledee had spoiled his nice riddle. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> I love this. So I'm going to sit and, and really look at every card pretty soon. But for now, it's just a few to show you that I bought an Alice in Wonderland illustrations and quote deck. I love these. Um, like I said, I have four or five different ones now. And I absolutely love this because it is, of course, in the game. Uh, in the game, uh, in the story. Uh, the story has the playing cards in them. So I really love playing cards with Alice on it. Especially with the playing cards on it. <laughs> I really thought it was fun to buy. So I bought some other items. These. I'm going to put this aside for a moment. <laughs> oh boy, I, li I really like these. So, um, yeah. I bought uh, this really cutie. <laughs> She's so ugly. I like it. Um, they had these as keychains, so they just screwed in a keychain and uh, in their heads. And I really like them, but I thought the little figurines were really fun. Maybe the keychains would have been easier to uh, put in my collection, to hang them somewhere. But I just thought these were fun, and I think they, they weren't that expensive. I think two euros, a uh, pound, I mean, you can't pay with euros over there. Pounds, maybe 250. Uh, I think they were 250. So normally I wouldn't buy this much. But you know, I saved up, so I just put them all in my basket. It was so much fun. So I do have the Duchess that looks really amazing with her really amazing dotted Duchess um, dress or whatever it is. I also have the Mad Hatter. This was really hard to choose because uh, the paint job on every, every figurine is a bit different. And this one had a very yellow face with very weird lips. So he looked really weird. Uh, Actually, she's a bit weird as well. But this one was the best I could find. I love the fact that he has a, that he has a sandwich and also a little cup of tea. And uh, his wonderful hat. And he also has lots of dots on his clothing. And I just think it's fun. So uh, these two are really fun together. Although they don't meet each other, I think, in the story. But oh well. Then, of course, I did buy Alice. Now, with most of these figurines, it's really hard to find one with a really nice face because it is hand-painted and the f most of the time the faces are so ugly. Uh, this is also a bit of a weird face, but of all the ones that I, I found, there were six or seven different ones, I think this was the best one. And she does really look very cute. And I love the fact that she's got a key in her hand. 
look, I've got a key. <laughs> and there's just a little bit of mushroom or whatever sticking out of her pocket or maybe a cookie. So I think it is a really fun one. And still, I couldn't paint this because look at this little stripes over here and the detail is really amazing. Ah, I do have to get these stickers off though. And that's always a bit of a pain to do because you can get them off, but then it gets sticky. So let's do that another time. <laughs> but isn't she very cute? So I've got Alice, of course. And then, of course, I've got the white rabbit. Because if you have Alice, you need the white rabbit. So those are the two that I buy first. And then I think, do I want the rest? No. I think, can I afford the rest? Because I always want the rest. <laughs> And this time I could, so uh, look at him. He's a bit weird because he looks like he's been flattened. I mean, he walk like an Egyptian comes to mind. <laughs> I think he's really fun. I love the, the colors, the bright colors of these little figurines. Although Alice is then a little bit simple and pastel if you see the rest. But um, yeah, I just thought this one was cute as well. I love all the hearts on his um, jacket or whatever it is. And he's holding the declaration i don't know how to say this i think it's weird because he's got the trumpet he's holding it very weirdly i think it's really fun <laughs> and then this one this is so much fun you you i've never seen merch of the i don't know what you call them in that in english <laughs> of this figure <laughs> he's got an invitation for the duchess to play croquet and oh look at this <laughs> this is really fun you never see merch of this i was I'm, i really don't know how to say that uh servant let's just say that um it's the, the fish that brings the invitation to the duchess and i really love it i mean look, look at the gold over here and this weird hat and just the fact that this is merchandise of the fish <laughs> of this servant it's it's just really fun you hardly ever see him on any other merchandise let alone as a single piece so i absolutely love this <laughs> actually this was one of the first i saw these two first and i thought oh i need this one and of course i need this one and then yeah i needed everything <laughs> okay the next one i bought is this weird cheshire cat i mean it is a bit it's it's green for one i mean that's a bit weird but it is just a really fun cute little well it's not cute it's a weird little kitten <laughs> but i do like the quirkiness of this weird little kitty so cheshire <laughs> with his weird grin and really funny looking eyes and then guys the best part of these things are tweedledee and tweedledum so this one is d if you can see it and this one is dumb <laughs> <laughs> you put them like this together. Look at it! Doesn't that look awesome? So it's just a little figurine like this, but you can, you know, take them apart and put them back together. I absolutely love this, and they are so funny. At first I thought it's the same figurine, but of course it isn't, because the arms are the other way around. This one has his arm out that side, and that one has his arm out to that side. And um, they are a little bit different. Of course, it says Tweedledee and Tweedledum, but I just thought they were so much fun. Look at it. Look how much fun this is. Oh, this is going to be so sticky. Ugh. Okay, well, that's one. So I need to clean these figurines. I, I don't like price stickers at all. So yeah, I bought the whole set and I, I absolutely love it. That's the fun part of having a budget of saving up for something like this, because otherwise it would have been these two and probably couldn't have resisted this one. Although this one, yeah, I would have taken them all. <laughs> okay, talking about different illustrations. I wasn't talking about that, but let's get back to that. I really absolutely love these cards. I think I bought them at the Oxford shop. At Alice's shop, but uh, the Oxford shop. I keep giving it different names. I think I bought it at Alice's shop, but it might have been in a little shop somewhere else in Oxford. But it doesn't matter. I just thought these were really amazing. So I bought all the cards they had of this series. Yeah, you have Cheshire again. He really looks like this one. <laughs> and I just think these are really very funny and really weird and totally different from other illustrations. This one is really weird. It's Lewis Carroll on a... Yeah, what is it? <laughs> I find it a really weird one. And here you have the Queen with... Yeah, one of his children. Tweedledee, Tweedledum looking really weird. 
And here's Alice as the Queen. I really love this one. It's really cute. Alice is the Queen. And then you have Cheshire with a really cute grin. And even the pig is there. Yeah, I just thought these were amazing. And um, that's the fun part again. Normally I would have picked the best, probably uh, this one. And maybe one or two other ones. But now I could buy the whole set. They weren't that expensive. I think 80 cents a piece, but still. I love postcards. I absolutely love them. So I've got a few more items to show you. So let's uh, do it a bit more quickly because uh, it's a long video already. <laughs> I can talk about stuff like this. Talking about the two servants. So here you have the fish and here you have the frog. I mean, I saw this one and I thought, yeah, I really need this because look at it. <laughs> so I actually want a figurine of him as well. <laughs> Uh, it says, if everyone minded their own business, the world would go around a great deal faster than it does. It has nothing to do with this little picture, but it's a really nice quote. And it is a really nice uh, coaster. I love Alice coasters. Maybe because it's tea party and tea, and even though they didn't use coasters, uh, it was way too chaotic for that. I just love coasters. So I thought this was really fun because, like I said, with this one, this one, it is... Um, a little picture and it is merchandise you don't see that often so i said i've never seen merchandise with this one well over here <laughs> but i think these are the only two i have in my collection now i love it and then guys oh my gosh i saw this one look at it i just like i said i love coasters but look at this pretty picture and i love the yeah, the stuff it's made of i don't know what it's called but it has a really nice feel to it and um, this was pretty expensive. I think I paid five or six pounds for just one coaster. This must have been two pounds or so. And th this was very expensive. But that's because it's of a special brand. And that is Mr. Mooney's Vintage Store. So I bought a another item. I hope there's something in here because it sounds like it's broken. <laughs> okay. Anyway, they had teacups, teapots, the plates and, and all, all kinds of stuff. With these illustrations, so the original John Tenniel illustrations, but then with really fun colors. But uh, this thing was, like I said, about six or seven pounds. So you can imagine how much a teacup was. <gasps> so, but I did want to buy one item and that's this mug. I absolutely love this one. Uh, let me see if I can open it. There must be something inside, I hope. Otherwise it's broken. What is inside? Ah, yes, luckily I did put some items inside. I can't get it out. Aha! <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna be a long video. I've got way more to show you. <laughs> okay, so first this one. I mean Tweedledee and Tweedledum <gasps> on a mug. I mean, I can't resist the mug either. There's a lot of stuff I can't resist. But I thought this was so much fun. I wanted to buy a coaster, but they didn't have a coaster, but I do love the mug. So later on I saw they had a coaster in the window, but uh, oh well, I already had this mug. I love the fact that there's a little key inside over here and it says, if it were so, it might be. <gasps> it's, <laughs> I just, I just love this. Tweedledee Tweedledum quote. And um, I love the way th they are colored in. I love their trousers. So uh, I bought two items for, and, and it was quite a lot of money for these two items, but I really love them. So, yeah, I'm happy with this. <laughs> Let's put it down like that. So uh, then I have more to show you because I did buy more. <laughs> well, oh, talking about Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> Whenever I go to the Alice store, I need to buy a piece of really, really um, souvenir stuff. I mean, like a thimble, it's really a souvenir thing. Although it's also from the story because they all won prizes and uh, Alice had to give everyone a prize. And then she uh, she had a thimble. So a thimble is Alice related as well. If you don't know the story, just a thimble is Alice related. And on here you see Alice and Tweedledee and Tweedledum. It's so small, you can't even see it. But I really like this one. So um, I'm going to put it back for now. But I'm going to put this in my collection. Really, I do have another one of Alice uh, as the queen. Really fun. I also bought this. This I actually I bought at the Alice's shop. And all these items I bought at Alice's shop. This is part of a, ch it's a, it's a chess piece. So they did it in 
<laughs> so they didn't have the chessboard with all the pieces, but they did had, have a few chess pieces. So I'm not even sure if there is a chessboard for this, but I uh, wanted more of Mr. Rabbit, more uh, merchandise. So I thought I'll buy this one. Actually, I didn't see an Alice, otherwise I would have bought it. So I don't think there was an Alice at that moment. So isn't he cute? He's got a little uh, pink waistcoat and uh, a cute... Or is this a waistcoat? I don't know, guys. But he looks really fun and really cute. And he's got his little pocket watch and his umbrella. And I absolutely love this. So I thought, yeah, that's fun. Fun item for in my collection. I did buy a lot of knickknacks. I also wanted some more jewelry, guys. Um, so uh, I don't have that many Alice uh, necklaces and earrings and stuff. I still don't. There isn't that much out there that I like. Or it's, it's all very small, like this thing. Look, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's the little white rabbit. Really cute. It's on a necklace. And the necklace is really huge. Look at it. I love this necklace. Uh, actually, I would have loved it if it was a bit smaller. I think it's really big. I don't wear jewelry this big. But apparently now I'm going to. And I love the Alice on here. Let me see if I can show you because it's got a lot of glare. So cute Alice. And then the cute bunny. Oh, it's so sweet. And of course a clock behind it because it is a pocket watch. So you need to see the dials and dials. You know, the pocket watch. And uh, I couldn't choose which one I wanted. I saw this on Monday when I went there. There was also a cute Cheshire cat. I really loved it. So luckily Yuri helped me out and said I like this one just a bit le better than the Cheshire. And he's right, although Cheshire was really cute. I wish I had bought them both, but they were £25, so uh, I think that's a lot of money. Although it has this on the back side, it's really a nice piece. But buying two would... yeah, that was just too much. Maybe next time I'll buy a smaller one with Cheshire. Or maybe they have different ones, I don't know. But this one, I really love. So, um, oh, well, that was it for today. No, wait, I've got one more item. So I also wanted to show you this, but that was before I saw I had more items. But I really want to see it myself, so uh, I am going to show you. How do I take this out? Ah. So I bought this at the last minute in the... Um, wait, in Alice's shop in Oxford. Uh, I didn't see it, and then suddenly I saw it over there. And the price was really nice. And uh, it's a Brito... Uh, or Brito, or however you pronounce it. Disney figure of the White Rabbit. Isn't he cute? <laughs> so actually, I do love this background. So I might put it like this in my collection, as long as I have room for it. Because I do like it, but I'm not sure. I'll have to see. So what do you think of this cutie? I mean, I like uh, I've told you before, when I showed you some Brito uh, items, I don't really like it. It's just too weird and, and too... I mean, you've got striped, pink striped ear, and here you have a yellow ear, and then it has a green sleeve, and then it has polka dots on its paw, and it's just really weird. But for one, and I don't really like that with a, a lot of the Disney figures, I just don't, re it's just not my taste. But Alice in Wonderland is, it's Wonderland, it's weird, it's quirky, and it can be fun, like this thing. So I thought, and it, it is actually kind of a cute bunny. Look at the Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the price was really good and I just put it in my basket at the last last moment. Uh, I do also want this one. And I'm so happy I did. Because, you know, ah, it's Alice. It's a cute rabbit. It's it's weird. I love it. So, um, this was a long video, guys. Uh, I hope you liked it. It was me babbling about my collection and I love talking about my collections, as you might know by now. I also love to see what do I like best after I did a whole video. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, actually, this one I really like, and I do love these Tweedledee and Tweedledum, but also that, those ones. And I love this thing, and I love my necklace, and yeah. But I think I like this one the best. Let me know what you like the best. <laughs> I, also, I always like to read what you like best. It's just fun. And uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, you know, thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And also the notification bell. Um... I have Alice videos every Saturday, every now and then it's going to be a Disney video, but most of the time now it's Alice videos or Alice Disney related videos, of course. And I have creative videos every Monday and Wednesday and then something in between if I have something to show you.
So there's going to be another part of my Alice in Wonderland items that I bought in the UK. Because <laughs> I did buy a lot, a lot I told you. Uh, and I also have bought some new items since we got back. <laughs> I just love it so much. Okay guys, that's it for today. All that's left to say is... Groetjes from Wonderland. Greetings from Wonderland. Greetings from Holland. Bye.